so yesterday we have seen that how to create the folders right and as well as how to create the bot correct yes so today we are going to see that how to display a message box or let me go back or let's create a new bot directly okay so let's create a new bot give a name like message box and you can give the description as well but the description is the optional thing and hit on create once you hit on create it will give you one workspace okay where you can actually develop your bot so yesterday we have seen the component right how we can edit the bot or what are the variable panel what is the action panel correct mm. so directly from today we will start suppose now i want to display a message into my message box okay welcome to a 2019 session i just want to display a message through my automation so how we can do that so in a 2019 you do not need to write any code or something like that okay everything is available you just need to drag and drop the things okay now simple if you want to display something with the help of message box and if you search for message here you will get that action double click on the action or either drag and drop that action into your start and end node okay clear up to this one yes now enter the message box title box now if you see about this one so title of this window is one hyphen message box then pipe edit task bot and the remaining one right so this is the window title so same like whenever it will pop up a message box na so that message box title will be this one getting this point yes then enter the message to display so which message you want to display simply enter that message here welcome to a2090 support session okay simply text there is no any double quotes or single quote no any simply whenever you pass any text simply write it like you are writing into notepad okay write it over there and hit on this run button so it is a cloud based so definitely uh, e for each and your every process it will download some dependency at the first time but if you run that same process multiple times na automatically this kb size will get in decreasing more guys okay suppose for some of the action it will take 50 mb or 34 mb but next time if you run directly it will go to kb 340 kb or 34 kb kind of that okay now if you see here window title message box will be automation anywhere enterprise oh, sorry enterprise client then the message which we want to display that display over here and simply here again it will display bot running a small window here this will tell us that which bot is right now running the bot name that is one hyphen message box then out of line how much line it is running now we have only one line so one out of one only i am explaining so here it will display a bot name okay this one hyphen message box then out of which lines suppose there are 10 lines so 10 out of one line is running so it will give us a line number then here how much percentage it has completed okay after completing that particular line it will give you the percentage then from this button you can pause or resume your particular bot okay and here which action is running right now okay it will display the details of that particular action getting this point yes okay and if you want to pause or uh, suppose if you want to stop the bot in between so do not click on close directly okay first stop the bot then click on this mark and then close the bot okay okay yeah now it will into this step okay until i'll click on close it will not move ahead right once i click on close then only it will go to next time if there is any otherwise simply it will stop it over there okay okay 
yeah so now suppose here if i want to change the name simply display message you can give a name save it and run it see now it has changed the window title and as well as the message to display getting this point yes yeah so now can you do at your end can you... now uh, here is the one option scroll bar after lines okay 30 lines so if you see this is a scroll bar right getting my point now suppose you have a very big message okay i am just writing here now a same word but suppose there is a paragraph or something or anything like that okay and if i run that particular thing so my message box automatically will get in increase mode means it will change the is height and width okay and it will display all the things in one message box let me show you see it is displaying in the bigger side suppose the message box is very big means there are suppose 50 lines or 60 lines okay and there is no any scroll bar you have written over there so the size will become like this one increasing more getting this point okay so to change that ui or to change that particular thing or to add the scroll bar what simply you need to do here now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 lines are there right so what simply i'll do i'll give an option for over here scroll bar after four lines so what will happen it will display only first four lines and after that it will give you a scroll bar at top right uh, sorry right side and once you scroll down see scroll bar once you scroll down it will display the remaining things getting this point Okay. Okay. So this is the use of the scroll bar, scroll bar. Okay. So yeah, you can you can you do at your end now? Is this one close message box after? So when I click on run, okay, it will display a message box, right? And until I have closed on that close button, still it will is in running mode, right? It will not getting closed. See. it is in running mode right when i click on this close then and then only it will move to the next step right yes correct so suppose mm -hmm. i want to do that dynamic okay after 5 seconds or 10 seconds or 50 seconds so simply i'll click on this one check box and after 10 seconds automatically i want that message box should get closed simply i'll write close and hit on run okay so there when it display the message box it will start the countdown from 10 9 8 7 likewise see 9 then 8 7 and automatically this message box will get closed or you can close by this close now also button see automatically it has getting closed getting this point no okay now suppose uh, i again want to take one message box or any other activity okay suppose for just for reference i'm taking this message box here let it be like this one message is something like hello welcome to the session okay i'll save it and i'll simply hit on run so now what will happen it will run from line number 1 right it will display the line number 1 as well and it will display the line number 2 as well see it has displayed the first message box then it has displayed the second message box as well. correct yes but suppose if you want to run from directly line number 2 so you have two methods okay either you can click on these three lines of first message box and simply disable the action okay and hit on run so after disabling this one automatically it will go to the next line of that one
see now it has only displayed the two line number two getting this point yes okay or suppose the second option is if you want to again enable this one simply click on these three lines and click on enable action okay now suppose you don't want to do disable thing but you want to run from line number two so what thing you have simply click on that line number then click on these three lines and here you have one option that is run from here so simply click on that option getting this point yes yeah so can you try this at your end now see okay. it is displaying only line number 2 and one more thing guys can you can you please uh, see my screen suppose there are multiple actions okay are you able to see my screen yes okay suppose there are multiple action and you want to disable multiple action so instead of clicking on one one simply select the actions means like we select the files into our pc like using control correct yes using control we do click 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 on files and it will go on multiple selection so same here we can do press the control button and click on that particular actions likewise okay and after clicking on this one here you will get the disable all action simply disable or if you want to enable later that all for simply again do control plus click 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 and simply enable the actions getting this point okay yeah so can you please try at your end 